This is the E1500 by Algo Force, and it is one of the most unique gold detectors on the market and certainly the most powerful at its price point. So with the price of gold the highest it has ever been, it is now possible to pay off a gold detector like this one in mere grams of gold rather than ounces. To put that into perspective, this setup here would cost less than the weight of a AA battery in gold, which is insane. This makes the E1500 easily the most affordable pulse induction gold detector on the market, but this is only part of what makes this detector so special. In regards to the performance of the E1500, we went out in the Victorian gold fields recently to do some testing. Um, this was before we got them to, in the store to see if they were legit, and honestly, this thing is the most stable detector I've ever used. And certainly if you see the performance of any pulse induction, it's probably the most stable and quiet PI there is, has ever been in terms of going over mineralized ground. It just doesn't make a sound unless there's a really hot patch. But really the way to mitigate that's just ground balancing, just ground balance kind of regularly every five minutes and that only takes three seconds. If it's still kind of making noises and it's particularly mineralized ground, you can switch from the ultra fine gold mode to the fine gold mode in a second and just leave it on that. You're not really gonna sacrifice much by doing that, just the really, really, really small gold. If you have a quick look on Facebook groups, people are having a lot of success with this machine. When you look at any other videos out there, it's just the same, there's just the quietness of it is incredible. Basically anyone could use this straight out of the box. All it needs to be done is ground balanced. Um, every now and then and that's 99% of what you'll be doing on an average day so performance wise extremely sensitive a lot of people are going really well and I found it ridiculously smooth and quiet speaking of quiet and stable operation this machine is extremely and I mean extremely resistant to EMI or electromagnetic interference Basically what that means is you can turn on and use this detector near suburbia or near electrical interference like power lines or even turn it on indoors here and it won't be going off its head. So typically with pulse inductions, they're very sensitive machines, especially when it comes to interference, uh, electromagnetic interference. As soon as you're near suburbia of any kind, they will be going off their head. Like you will not stand a chance turning on any pulse induction inside here, for example, except this one. And what that means is you're going to be able to use this machine either near suburbia, because there are many gold fields near suburbia. And I don't mean just like meters, I mean even hundreds of meters you get interference, even kilometers. Sometimes planes flying overhead creates interference with detectors and lightning storms in the distance as well. This detector will be able to be used near power lines or suburbia in areas where probably detectors have never detected or never very successfully detected, which is an enormous bonus for this machine. If that's one thing that you kind of get from this video, it's that it could do something that other machines really cannot do today very special feature. Versatility, the E1500 has that in spades. One of the big ones is the coils. So this is actually for, from another detector. This machine doesn't come with its own coil and the manufacturer doesn't make them, but it's compatible with a lot of coils that have been made for many years that are compatible with MyLab SD, GP or GPX detectors, except the GPX 6000. Any mono coils that are compatible with those machines can plug into this and they have a certain plug. I'll show that up on screen. Basically, there's some very big ones, very small ones, different shapes and sizes. That means you can use this in a lot of different environments. You can use small ones to get in between rocks and for smaller gold, larger ones to cover more ground or for deeper, larger gold. That makes this machine versatile just with that. Now, recently there's been an update that gives this detector three different modes, or should I say soil types. You've got your mineralized soil type, which is the default, which generally you'd leave it on because most gold fields are mineralized soil. Then you've got mild soil types. If you had an area where the soil was milder, you could turn that mild soil mode on and you'd get a lot more performance out of this detector which is good for those places that have milder, less mineralized soils. Then there's a third one, which is really interesting. It's a beach soil type. So when you're over salt water, and if you want to take this to the beach, over salt wet sand, should I say, then the beach mode's very deep and, and sensitive. We'll probably make a video later about that, which is something that most gold detectors can't do, or not very well, at least, over salt water. They don't have a beach setting. That's 
awesome. The other thing is this has four different modes for different gold types. So you got, I mentioned before, the ultra fine and fine gold. So you can put it on ultra fine gold timing, fine gold, normal gold, and large gold. So you can choose what kind of gold you want. And then the large gold actually has some different selections where you can choose to essentially eliminate the small gold deliberately or small targets deliberately. So if you're relic hunting, you want to use this for relic hunting, or maybe you just didn't want to bother digging small targets, you can set this so it only pretty much detects larger targets, which is something a few people have actually asked about, and it's not a feature any other gold detector has that I'm really aware of. It's quite cool. It's lightweight. It's currently the lightest gold prospecting pulse induction detector there is, especially when you're using the smaller coils. So many people come into the store and they have a shoulder injury or a bad back. The weight makes all the difference really. So when you have a lower weight detector, you can swing for longer, find more and have a lot more fun if you're not in pain, <laughs> obviously. The balance of this machine using a smaller coil like the nine inch or even smaller coils is really, really good too, especially when using the larger batteries that we're currently including with the kits. You won't find a lighter gold prospecting PI on the market at the moment. Target ID. This machine is the only pulse induction detector that has target ID. It's something that's very common in the coin and relic detectors, which use what's called VLF technology, but this uses pulse induction and no other PIs have this target ID. Now, target ID basically means when you hover your coil over a buried target that you've just detected, it'll give you a number on the screen and that number gives you an indication of what it is or its size as well. Is it a one or two or not? It's not like super accurate type description of what it is, but what you'll find is the same targets often give the same numbers if they're the exact same size. And what that's really, really useful for is eliminating lead shot. I'll say that that's probably 99% of the function of the target ID on this detector. When you're out in the gold fields, there is a lot of lead shot, which is the little tiny lead balls from shotguns <laughs> that are everywhere. And there's thousands and thousands of them mixed in with the occasional bit of gold. If you can eliminate digging those because you've ID'd that they're zero, zero or you'll find out for yourself when you start detecting with this machine and what type of gold you got around you. What it allows you to do is eliminate digging a lot of lead shot in favor of digging more gold. For sure, there would be some gold that's gonna give you the same number as the lead shot, but I think it'll be a lot rarer and you'll save yourself many, many, many hours and going insane from digging lead shot. <laughs> At the end of the day, the target ID is a very, very powerful tool for stopping yourself going crazy, digging more gold and digging less lead. One thing that really stands out about the Algo Force E1500 is actually the company itself, Algo Force. They're based in Australia and assembled in Australia. And speaking with the owner, designer, chief everything basically company, it's almost like a one man band at the moment. He is very supportive of this product. So when this is actually launched, it's been almost flawless, which for a new company, brand new product is incredible. We have quite a few customers out there now using them and we haven't had any feedback about anything breaking whatsoever, which is unbelievable considering these really do get a beating out in the bush. In terms of support for the detector, Alex is amazing. So there's been a few very significant updates that have really brought this detector to a new level, like the beach mode, for example, which allows this to be used over salt water and a few other settings and things. And those have been huge, really. Um, it's very amazing to see such fast progress. Overall, his support and ability to get back to people with questions and stuff is really amazing. Honestly, in terms of trust for this company, like I needed to get one myself to see for myself that it was you know, what everyone was saying it was. So that's why we went to the Victorian Goldfields and from then until getting them and then selling them, we've really just seen the quality control and support for these products has been amazing. So definitely a very refreshing change from some companies. Something that stands out about this detector for me. Well, that just about sums up the most exceptional and interesting features for me on this machine. But I do wanna do a video of this thing at the beach. I do want to do an assembly and a quick setup video. Please leave a comment of what kind of videos you'd like to see on this machine. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of this machine in the future. It's a very, very capable detector. Look forward to seeing your comments. Um, please subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>